So today we're going to talk about the benefits of apple cider vinegar. All right, so what is apple cider vinegar? Basically, you're taking the sugar in the apple juice and certain microbes, bacteria and yeast, are turning that sugar into alcohol, then eventually into vinegar. So there's a whole process that occurs and the end product vinegar is acetic acid. Now there's other acids involved, but this is the main one. So I remember growing up in Wisconsin, uh, where there was farms all around our neighborhood. And so we had a crab apple tree and uh, there was a farmer on the other side of the cornfield. So I brought him a big uh, bushel basket of crab apples and I wanted him to grind up these apples and turn them into uh, apple juice. So he did that for me. I brought him back in jugs and I left him out in the sun I think one or two days, and they turned into something called apple cider. Apple cider is basically a spiked apple juice. Okay, it had some alcohol in it. And that basically was the start of my alcoholic journey at eight years old. And I'm completely being sarcastic. So I did not become an alcoholic at eight years old, more like 20 years old. No, I'm just kidding. But the point is that if you take apple juice that's not pasteurized, not heated, it goes through fermentation. Okay, so with the help of microbes, it eventually turns into vinegar. So there's many different types of vinegar that you can get. The one that I'm going to recommend is a raw, unpasteurized version of vinegar, uh, organic. Uh, Bragg's has a really good one. It also has the mother. What is that? That's basically some residue of some fiber, pectin, some bacteria, and yeast. I do not think that's going to give you a lot of health benefits. Really, the health benefits are the acetic acid. But the fact that the apple cider vinegar is raw means that it's going to be rich in enzymes. So that alone can actually help you in your digestion. So you don't want it pasteurized. And the other thing that because it's organic means it doesn't have the added pesticides and the chemicals. So Bragg's is a really good version. Also, the pH is between 3.3 and 3.5. If you get distilled vinegar, it's a little bit lower. I think it's like 2.5. But this is acid enough. All right. So the other thing is you don't need to keep it in the refrigerator. You can keep it outside the refrigerator and it'll last for like five years. Okay. So now let's talk about the benefits of apple cider vinegar. Number one, digestion. It speeds up digestion. It activates enzymes. So a lot of these enzymes uh, in the stomach, in the pancreas, and other places in the body uh, are dormant and it takes certain things to activate them. And acid is one of the activators of the enzymes in the stomach to help you break down protein. So right there, that's going to help speed up digestion. Number two, it's going to control pathogens. If you think about it, uh, you have pickles, you have fermented vegetables that are in acid. That acid in there is preserving that food and preventing bacterial growth. So when you consume an acid, it actually lowers the pathogens in the body. It helps in the overgrowth of certain microbes, especially even a condition called SIBO, S-I-B-O, small intestinal bacterial overgrowth, which is a condition where you have bacteria growing in the wrong place. You have all this bacteria growing in the small intestine instead of the large intestine. And so if your pH is not strong enough in the stomach, you can actually develop that condition. So if you take apple cider vinegar, it can help create a condition where the uh, microbes cannot thrive in the small intestine. Number three, it helps you absorb minerals like calcium, magnesium, and iron all need a certain pH to be absorbed. If the pH in your stomach is too alkaline, you're not gonna absorb as many minerals. Also vitamins, vitamin K, vitamin C, and even B12 need this acid to be absorbed. All right, number four, it can decrease gas, bloating, and even indigestion. So the last thing you want is undigested food in your, in your digestive tract. So apple cider vinegar just speeds up the breakdown of food so you have more of a complete digestion. Um, one cause of gas is incomplete protein digestion. All right, number five, it decreases acid reflux. Now, Normally, what happens in the stomach is you have to have an acid of between one and three, very, very acidic, to be able to have that valve on the top close and prevent the backup of acid that comes in your esophagus. So when you lose your stomach acid, the valve doesn't close and the acid can reflux up. And the term for that is GERD. And so you would take an antacid and you feel better. But the next time you eat, it's worse. 
Why? Because you're making that acid less acid. And so over time, that valve just stays open and you have a constant reflux and you're dependent on these medications. Well, here's the thing. If you take apple cider vinegar, it helps the valve close more, improving the symptoms of acid reflux and GERD. The exact opposite thing you would think that would work, but it does work. Now, even if you look at the side effects of taking medication for acid reflux and GERD, is GERD. <laughs> it's the same thing. So the side effect is that you get more acid reflux. Uh, it doesn't make sense. Okay, so number six, it helps to release bile. The bile is made in your liver and it's released from the gallbladder and there's a certain signal from the stomach of having a certain amount of acid that then triggers the release of the bile. So apple cider vinegar can help release the bile that's congested. That's why you probably have less bloating when you take it. Also, the enzymes from the pancreas get released, so you have more complete digestion. All right, number seven, you get more of a complete breakdown with protein. So the protein can then turn into its amino acids, which are the building blocks of protein, and you need a certain acid to activate the enzymes to do that. Okay, apple cider vinegar can contribute to those acids. Number eight, blood sugar improvement. Apple cider vinegar can help you make glucose more sensitive. So you have less insulin resistance and thereby less insulin being produced. And that can directly cause more weight loss. So when you hear these claims about apple cider vinegar helping you lose weight, this is why. Also, it's going to help you lower cholesterol. Why? Because when you reduce insulin, you lower cholesterol. It's probably going to also help with blood pressure. And anything related to high levels of insulin, it can improve. Okay. And lastly, it can help your immune system. It can stimulate the white blood cells to speed up and help fight infection. So as you can see, there are many benefits to apple cider vinegar. So go ahead and take between one and two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar in some water. Uh, I usually use uh, 16 ounces. I like to put lemon juice in there as well. Uh, you can use a straw so it doesn't affect your teeth. And you can take it before a meal, after a meal. Uh, I take mine in the evening, uh, right about six o'clock. I usually take my wheatgrass juice uh, powder in the morning and I'll take this in the evening. But in summary, there's many benefits to this product. And if you don't like the taste, you can also get it into a tablet form. And I'll put a link down below if you wanna take it in a pill form. All right, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. So if you want more knowledge on how to create a healthy body, subscribe now and get daily notifications. Daily notifications, that sounds weird. Well, I'll just remind you on a daily basis. How about that?